Hey everybody, I'm Ashley and I am a producer here at Nifty. This was one of the first facelift projects I ever did and it is a convertible cube seat. I wouldn't say that this is an entry level project, mainly because I use a nail gun. Fun fact, in this video, that is the first time I've ever actually used a nail gun. Scary, but I survived. So if you haven't used a nail gun before, don't let that hold you back from doing this project. If this is your first custom building project, it's a really easy place to start because it's a square. So it's kind of hard to mess up. I don't know if there was a specific moment when I became into DIY projects, but uh, my grandma was a big influence on me and always encouraged me to be making things. She had this like big button box at her house that I would always play with and be like, what can I make out of this button? And one day it would be like the eye of a teddy bear and another Another day it would be like a Christmas tree topper that I made out of, you know, pipe cleaner. So that button box <laughs> inspired me in a lot of ways. But my grandma was a big influence on me in terms of getting into DIY projects and also I don't know, I've just always been into making things. I never in a million years imagined it could be my job one day. I am very fortunate and I love my job a lot. When I was a kid, obviously wasn't doing construction projects, but I was always making things with my hands. I would take things apart and put them back together all the time. I love to tinker around with stuff. I don't know if there was one specific instance where I was like, now I love DIY projects. I just kind of have always been making things and I loved art. This was sort of just like a natural progression of the things I love most. And now I have this really cool job where I get to do it every day. This project was actually part of a bigger makeover that I did for my very, very good friend, Merle. Um, and as I was preparing for the makeover, I started watching a lot of tiny house videos. So like the little micro houses that people latch onto the back of their trucks and like live around the country. Those are the types of videos I was watching. This project that I'm showing you is customized, but I hope it can inspire you no matter what your skill level is to maybe upcycle something that you already have or do the total custom build. Whatever your skill level is or whatever your effort level is for the day, I hope this inspires you to make something that is useful for you because no matter how big or how small your space is, you always want extra storage, whether it's just to hide something or to make extra space in a tiny room. You know, storage rarely is something that someone's like, I don't need any more of that. You know, everybody needs storage. You can definitely buy storage ottomans. I did not invent the storage ottoman, obviously, but I really couldn't find one that fit the style of the space, had wheels on it, and was heavy duty. So I could find a lot of like foldable ottomans that are like almost cardboard on the inside and have a little bit of a dorm room feel to them. I knew I didn't want that. And I also wanted something that could be used as both an ottoman, seating and storage. So it was a three in one solution and I couldn't find exactly what I wanted. So I decided to build it. I would totally recommend this project to somebody, of course, because I made it and I put it on the internet. So I really am suggesting it to you. If I can do it, you definitely can. And I hope you do. If you do, definitely send me a picture. I love seeing, uh, you guys make versions of the projects that I do in different space lift episodes. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you're inspired to invest in your space a little bit. So thanks. Bye.